Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord, my dear friends. A great pleasure again to meet you here. We thank God for the opportunity. Allow me this morning to share with you a thought that I've titled Three Action Points to Victorious Life. Three Action Points to Living a Victorious Life. I'm reading from the book of Matthew chapter 7, verses 8. Uh, Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. And this is what the Word of God says Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it is it will be opened. Three action points to living a victorious life. Number one, ask. Number two, seek. Number three, knock. And I just want to share a brief thought on each and then I'll let you go on with your day. Asking. Many a time when we talk about asking, what comes into our mind is the begging attitude. And so the word of God tells us that we are supposed to ask. Apparently, today the enemy has clouded our mind in a way that when we talk of asking, a picture that comes in our mind is reduced to a beggar, somebody who doesn't have, somebody who doesn't have, you know, what it, what it, what it takes and they are left to begging. Dear friend, let me correct this aspect that God's children don't beg. God's children ask in humility and humility cannot be reduced to a begging attitude. David was a great man, a great man of God, but he humbled himself before the Lord. He humbled himself, much as he was a great king, he humbled himself from God and he inquired from the Lord. Many times David is quoted and the word goes that he was a man after God's own heart. Jesus is not just a great man. He is the King of kings and the Lord of God. He prays in his prayer. And he said, God, if it is your will, please take this away. But more that your will may be, may be done. My dear friend, we as believers have this open door that we can ask into our victory. We can ask, Jesus says it plainly, that you can, whoever asks, it will be given. If you ask, you ask God, God will give you the desires of your ask. Number two, seek. Seeking is not looking. There's a difference between seeking for something and looking for something. Looking involves sight. But seeking goes beyond using the faculty of sight. Seeking involves using your eyes, using your hands, using your leg. You use your eyes to see. You use your hands to turn thing around, things around. You use your leg to move. By doing that, then that changes from just looking to seeking. The Bible says that if you seek the things of God, you will find. Number three, the word of God has talked about knocking. And there are three kinds of knocking. I want to mention them and then we'll be bringing this to a close. Three kinds of knocking. Knocking number one, if you, if you want the door to be open to you, you'll ring the bell and whoever is in the house, once he has heard the bell, he will come and open the door for you. But there's also another kind of knocking. Perhaps somebody has, has locked himself in your house. You don't go ringing the bell. You'll come with your feet say, hey, come on, open the door. You are knocking. You are knocking because you have the right to access the house. But there's another type of knocking. This is the most arrogant one. The most, the, the one that enforces. Perhaps you know very, very well that you have a right to access a house and whoever is inside 
is adamant they're not opening. What do you do? You move three legs behind and you come with a force and knock that down, that, that do- down. And so three kinds of knocking. The gentle one, the, the one that is emphasizing and the one that has to create a way. And so my dear friends, when it comes to, to, to asking from the Lord, we knock. But if it's the enemy who is on the other side of the door, closing our door, we don't knock lightly. We don't knock gently. We knock the door out by force. We force our way inside. That is still knocking. My dear friends, three points that I've mentioned this morning. Ask, seek, and knock. The Lord is waiting for your action. If you want to live a victorious life, the Lord is waiting for your action today. You can ask from the Lord. He will give you. You can seek and you will find. You can knock on God's door and it will be open for you. But if it's the enemy, you have to knock it off and the door will fly getting open. I want to pray with you as you go into your day. I'm hoping that you live a victorious life. Let us pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you praise. We honor you again this day, Lord, that you've given us. We are going out victoriously. We are blessed because we can ask We are blessed because we can seek you and find you. We are blessed because we can know, we can knock, and our doors will be open. And therefore, we give you praise, Lord. We are putting you away. We are putting you way ahead in front of our our day today. Lead the way for us so that we can live a victorious life. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray by faith. Amen. The Lord bless you. My name is Philip Odera. I will see you again. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.